In a previous general chemistry course, you should have learned that the standard enthalpy change delta H naught for a process is the enthalpy change when all gases present are at 1.0 atmospheres pressure, all liquids and solids are in their most stable form at one atmosphere, and any aqueous reactants or products are present in 1.0 molar concentrations. We can define a similar standard Gibbs free energy change for a reaction in the same way. You should recall that for the standard enthalpy change for a reaction, we use standard enthalpy of formation delta H naught subscript F values for each reactant and product. These enthalpy of formation values were found in tables, but you should also recall that the standard enthalpy of formation for elements in their standard state was zero. We then recall that the standard enthalpy change for a reaction is equal to the sum of the moles multiplied by the standard enthalpy of formation for the products minus the sum of the moles times the standard enthalpy of formation for the reactants. We can find the standard Gibbs free energy change for a reaction in the same way using free energy of formation values, which will be found in tables. As with standard enthalpy of formation for elements, the standard free energy of formation for elements in their standard state will be zero. We can then write the equation that the standard free energy change for a reaction is equal to the sum of the moles multiplied by the standard free energy of formation values for the products minus the sum of the moles multiplied by the standard free energy of formation for the reactants. Let's look at an example of using this new equation to find the standard free energy change for a reaction. In this case, we're asked to use the tabulated free energy of formation values to determine if the reaction two moles of carbon monoxide gas reacting with two moles of nitrogen monoxide gas to produce two moles of carbon dioxide and one mole of nitrogen gas is a spontaneous reaction at 25.0 degrees Celsius. We're given a table with the standard free energy of formation values for the CO, the CO2, and the NO. We begin by identifying the standard free energy of formation values for the reactants and products. Three of these are given, but the standard free energy of formation for N2 is not given. However, we should recall that N2 gas is an element in its standard state, and so therefore, the free energy of formation for N2 gas is zero. We can then write out the equation and begin plugging in the values that we know. So the free energy of formation for the reaction is equal to the sum of the moles multiplied by the standard free energy of formation for the products minus the sum of the moles multiplied by the standard free energy of formations for the reactants. So for the products, we get two moles multiplied by negative 394.4 kilojoules per mole for the CO2 plus one mole for the N2 multiplied by zero. For the reactants, we have two moles multiplied by negative 137.2 kilojoules per mole for the carbon monoxide and we'll add to that two moles multiplied by positive 87.6 kilojoules per mole for the NO gas. We then have negative 788.8 kilojoules for the products minus a negative 99.2 kilojoules for the reactants, which gives us a standard free energy of reaction change of negative 689.6 kilojoules. Since this free energy change for the reaction is negative, that means that this reaction is spontaneous at 25 degrees Celsius. After watching this video, you should be able to define what a standard free energy of formation value is. You should also be able to identify the standard free energy of formation values for elements in their standard state. Finally, you should be able to use the equation to find the standard free energy change for a reaction based on the standard free energy of formation values for the reactants and the products.